Sometimes Mondays are just like Mondays. Today was not, and this is why. Lots of sunshine, little breeze as we look live with mostly clear skies down in Smithfield and Johnston County where it's 52 degrees. Carolina blue skies up in Chapel Hill, and I apologize, the kindergartner of me is, is, is kind of looking at this one, and that's kind of a swan. I'm seeing some animals here, but a beautiful day. Hope you got out to enjoy it. 52 up on campus at Chapel Hill, and if you missed it earlier, the basketball game against Miami was canceled tonight, so they'll reschedule that, and we will re reschedule these temperatures because they're going to be all over the place this week. Today, 53. Now, tomorrow will be warmer, but we've also got clouds and rain. Then a cold front comes through and we'll start to see temperatures cool back down into the 40s by the end of this week. And Thursday is going to be a wet day as well. So wet and cold weather returning later this week. But tonight, again, it's not, you know, 70. But it feels pretty good. Today's high of 53. Ties our warmest day so far this month, and we're now eight days in. So 40s and 50s now. And as we head into tonight, we'll cool off, but it's not going to be drastically colder. We'll fall through the 40s tonight, then through the upper 30s by morning. And the reason why it's not going to be drastically colder is we're going to wrap ourselves up in a cloud blanket overnight. And eventually, tomorrow morning, we will have rain returning to the forecast. So the two big impacts in our weather the next 48 hours, rain, which has really yet to develop with clouds, going to come from the south. So it's not there now, but it's going to be there overnight. And then this cold front will move through tomorrow night, and that'll drop our temperatures later this week. So let's first talk about the clouds and rain overnight. By 11 o'clock tonight, clouds will overspread from the south. And as you can see, by tomorrow morning, 6, 7, 8 a.m., we've got a few scattered showers, and it's a rain-only event tomorrow morning. A couple of showers still hanging around through lunchtime, and then that rain and cloud cover is out of here, and by the afternoon, it's going to be looking and feeling pretty good. Remember, it's going to be warmer tomorrow, so the afternoon looks to be the better part of the day. The morning will have clouds and rain. Then on Wednesday... From morning until the afternoon, we will start sunny and then bring clouds in, but it's a mostly dry day. That is not the case on Thursday because starting Thursday morning, we'll start to see some rain show up. The rain snow line is close, but it's going to be to our north, so it is a rain-only event Thursday, and there's plenty more to come throughout the rest of the day. So again, tomorrow it's just in the morning. We're cooler but drier on Wednesday, and then we're colder and wetter on Thursday. But again, it's only rain for the next several days. We've got a few leftover showers on Friday, and then it gets cold this weekend. Highs will struggle to get up to 40 with small rain chances, including Sunday for Valentine's Day. The holiday next Monday, President's Day, a high of only 39. It's not very presidential. And then a couple showers with temperatures into the 40s by next Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday.